Completely missed. Jeez. Welcome to another um, series of A Baboon Plays Skyrim. I'm a baboon and this is um, my new character, May Zorn. He is an orc. He's a brawler. He's going to be a two-handed, just big warrior guy. Um, and he's going to start with the skills block, heavy armor, two-handed, smithing, and lockpicking. So he's kind of a roguish, a little bit roguish, um, but mostly just going to get in there and, and deal some damage. Um, as usual, uh, we will be role-playing this, so it, the uh, he only knows the five skills that I've listed. Um, to do anything else, he's going to have to train in-game, and um, we're also on no deaths. Uh, for the moment, our difficulty's on master, although I think I might back it off, just because um, uh, this is going to be a little, it's going to be a little crazy. Um, starting out. So, welcome, and uh, uh, wish us luck. Alright. Looks like he's gone for good this time. But I don't think we should stick around to see if he comes back. Closest town from here is Riverwood. My uncle's the blacksmith there. I'm sure he'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. Thanks, Hadvar. Yeah, we're gonna split up, definitely. Because I'm heading for... Um... Mazorn is heading for the orc stronghold of... Dush... I can't say this. Dushnik Yal. Dushnik Yai? Dushnik Yal. And it's it's going to be um, southeast of Falkery. So it's going to be somewhere in this neighborhood right here. Um, Wait, wait. Falkery, not Falkery. Markarth. Where's Markarth? Wait a minute. Is this Mark? What's oh, Morthal? Where's Markarth? Let's see. Let's zoom out. Markarth. Okay, yes, yeah, so we're heading over this direction. Um, so actually, we probably will go to Riverwood because we're gonna need to get a a. Uh, we're gonna need to get a. What do you call it? A carriage. Go to Solitude and join up with the Imperial Legion. So we'll go. We'll go ahead and do the the tutorial with the. We'll go ahead and do the smithing tutorial in uh, in Riverwood, and maybe stay the night before we head for Markarth. Okay, I think we're gonna pick Warrior Stone for the smithing ability. These are the Guardian Stones. Three of the I think we're gonna uh, we wanna we wanna smith like get really good at smithing really fast. Good. I knew you shouldn't have been on that cult the minute I laid eyes on you. So 
far as I'm concerned, you've already earned your pardon. But until we get that confirmed by General Tullius, just stay clear of other Imperial soldiers and avoid any complications, all right? Wolves. Go on, wolves, eat Hadvar. Completely missed. Jeez. Yes, my character is interested in searching and mining for rare minerals. Where'd the other wolf go? They just completely ignored me for some reason, which is really weird. Oh no, I'm carrying too much again. Yes, this orc is going to be... Um, I mean, he's not a miner by trade, so he's not going to immediately go for mining. Um, but he's definitely going to mine anything that he comes across. Definitely. Okay. Oh, this is frustrating. We're just two over. Is there something completely useless I picked up we can drop? No. Gonna need all that stuff. All right, we're gonna drop one of these maces. They're not very, worth, worth very much anyway, so. Catch up with Hadvar. see all these great ingredients and I want to pick them up, but my character's not really interested in alchemy, so. Come on, there's my uncle. Excuse me, Sven. Uncle Halvar, hello. Hadvar, what are you doing here? Are you on leave from... Okay, no, 3, 358. Bones. What happened to you, boy? Are you in Uncle, some kind please. of trouble? Keep your voice down. I'm fine, but we should go inside to talk. What's going on? And who's this? He's a friend. Saved my life, in fact. Come on, I'll explain everything, but we need to go inside. Okay, okay, come inside then. Sigrid will get you something to eat, and you can tell me all about it. A dragon! I saw a dragon! What, what are you doing that for? Sorry. Where did... Where's Alvor? There he is. Okay. Sigrid, we have company. Hadvar, we've been so worried about you. Come, you two must be hungry. Sit down and I'll get you something to eat. Now then, boy, what's the big mystery? What are you doing here looking like you lost an argument? Yada, 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 yada. I don't know where to start. You know I was assigned to General Tullius' guard. We were stopped in Helgen when we were attacked by a dragon. It's a weird angle. <laughs> a dragon? That's ridiculous. You aren't drunk, are you, boy? Husband, let him tell his story. Not much more to tell. This dragon flew over and just wrecked the whole place. Mass confusion. I don't know if anyone else got out alive. I doubt I'd made it out myself if not for my friend here. I need to get back to Solitude and let them know what's happened. I thought you could help us out. Food, supplies, a place to stay. Of course. Any friend of Hadvar's is a friend of mine. I'm glad to help however I can. Like I said, I'm glad to help in any way I can. Oh, thank you, Alvor. But I need your help. We need your help. Okay, so I'll take the iron ingot, I'll take a lockpick, and all three of these. 
and the rest of it don't care about. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever yeah, yeah. soldiers he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Um, can I use your forge? I see no harm in it, if you have the skill. The grindstone will improve your weapons. Use the table to improve your armor. If you've got the raw materials, you can use the forge to make something new. Okay, cool. Until next time. Did you really see a dragon? What did it look like? Did it have big teeth? Well, I bet it... Interesting. Yeah, we do have a level up. Okay. So if we have a level up, we'll take steel smithing. Okay. And health. Take steel smithing. Okay. Now my friend within reason of course yes of course get i i need i want to use the forge dude oh wait i need to hang on hang on watch over your battles, friend hang on ah, get out of my way okay so we'll get some leather going So we'll make some armor first. What's the difference between these two? There's no difference. Okay. That's some good armor you've put together. Alright. I need more I think I need more leather straps actually. Hey, Elvor. Whatever you need. Um, you looking I need to protect to, yourself. I need more steel. This is what I need. Okay. Let me sell you some stuff first of all. Weapons. Not your weapons, my weapons. No, hang on. Weapons only. Okay. We'll get some training from what's his name. Okay, now let me buy some. He doesn't have any steel ingots. Just iron and corundum. Okay. What weapons does he have? Blessed Iron War Axe. He's got a hunting bow. He's got... Steel helmets. Just too expensive. I'll make it myself. Aye. Let me run over here and get some more. Put this armor on first. Run over here and get some more steel. See if this guy has any steel. Atlas has to do something. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Oh, <clears throat> a customer. <laughs> Sorry you had to hear that. Yeah, well, I don't know what you overheard, but the Riverwood Trader is still open. Feel free to shop. Mm, what do you have for sale? Take a look. Okay, so we're going to get 
we'll sell to him first. So we'll sell him the hood, the robes, the ring, and we'll keep our potions and our food. We'll sell him these books. Uh, we'll sell him this too. Okay, so I want to buy steel ingots from this dude. Oh, he's only got iron ore. Okay, all right, good enough. Damn thieves! As if things weren't bad. Hmm. We'll go ahead and take these iron boots and the iron gauntlets since we can take them and the steel dagger. Alvor. You looking for a new blade? Hang on. So let's put these on. I just need a helmet now. All right. So let's get some more strips. Okay. And let's make ourselves a helmet. Alright, so. Steel Whatever helmet requires two steel ingots. Okay. Alright, so we'll make us an iron helmet then. Iron or steel is what you need. Leave that fancy elven stuff to the elf. Okay. Make ourselves a helmet. Okay. So armor rating 74. And um, let's go ahead and sharpen this axe. It only does one more damage, huh? We'll save. We'll save it for some when we get a little bit more skillful. I could forge you a war hammer that would lion's head like a walnut. Okay, so what time is it? Six o'clock. We're gonna head to White Rope. I think. No, let's get us a let's get us a buddy. Let's talk to this guy and get training in archery. Hey f Did I see you talking to Sven? Maybe not. Maybe... Never mind. But I would stay away from him if I were you. And what's your problem with Sven? He's a bard, so he says. Occasionally, he finds time to do his job here at the mill. Thinks his ballads and sonnets are going to convince Camilla Valerius to marry him. As if she would say yes. An intelligent, beautiful woman like her wouldn't fall for that nonsense. I hope. You're right. I don't need your jokes right now, but maybe you have a point. Maybe Camilla needs some help seeing Sven for what he is. Could you, could you give her this letter and say it's from Sven? I think I've matched that Nord's lack of cleverness perfectly. Can you train me to be better at archery? I'll show you what I know. Okay. So we got a level of archery training. Good day. Um... But I think that I want... I think that I want Sven. Well, what would my guy do? I think he would go with Sven. Because... Aren't orcs and... Um... Aren't they, like, super... Like, they don't like elves, I don't think. Hmm. Let's go in here. Excuse me. Maybe you could talk some sense into my pig-headed brother. <laughs> Fine. 
Feindel asked me to give you this letter and say it was from Sven. He what? What are you talking about? Why, that jealous idiot. Thought he could just manipulate me into never seeing Sven again? Thank you for telling me the truth. You should speak to Sven. I'm sure he'll want to thank you, too, for defending his name. Until next time. All right. Hey, Sven. Feindal thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine, I keep telling. You look like a traveler. Someone that has seen faraway places and heard new stories. I don't think Camilla will be spending any more time with Feindal. Now that's what I like to hear. Good work. I think you deserve some gold from my tips at the inn. What I need is some help. Follow me. I suppose Master Neloth won't mind. He's always telling me to get out of his way. All right, so we got Sven. I think that they're not on friendly terms. Or maybe I'm just making up that up. I don't know. Yeah, I've got my full set of armor. Pretty tough so far. <clears throat> I can ber Berserker Rage when I need to to make the game a little easier. We'll do that when we get to uh, fighting the big boys. But right now, we have... Oh, let's favorite some potions too, actually. I don't need Magicka Potions. Because we're not trained in any Magicka ability, uh, magic skills yet, so... I think we'll, we'll spend the night in Whiterun. Go, Sven. K try to keep up, man. Slow. We're going to avoid them. And are we going to avoid that giant fight as well? I think so. That giant fight's just annoying. Or am I heading right for it? I think I'm heading right for it. Yeah, we're just gonna ignore them. This is one orc that doesn't want to get in anybody's way right now. Not interested in helping out. Come on, Sven. Ignore that, please. Okay, good. Okay, so it's 8 p.m. I guess we're going to stay in White Run overnight. And then we'll head out to the orc stronghold. Halt! City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. 
River World, Riverwood calls for the Jarl's aid. Riverwood's in danger too. You better go on in. You'll find the Jarl in Dragon's Reach at the top of the hill. We might be able to get some we'll more steel too. It takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I just I'm just going to run up here and tell the Yarrow what's go what's going on and then and then move on about my way. I think this guy is, um, he's somewhat honorable, but, I mean, like, he has his own honor, you know? Um, someone helps him, he's gonna help them back, but... We cannot afford to act rashly in times like What these. would you have me do, then? Nothing? My lord, please, this is no time for rash action. I just think we need more information before What's we... the meaning of this interruption? Just... Jarl Balgruff is not receiving is visitors. Step? Elvor sent me. Riverwood is in danger. As House Carl, my job is to deal with all dangers that threaten the Jarl or his people. So you have my attention. Now explain yourself. I was told to give the message directly to the Jarl. Whatever you have to say to the Jarl, you can say to me. It's I'm starting right, to right. think... I want to hear what he has to say. What's this about Riverwood being in danger? A dragon destroyed Helgen. Alvor is afraid Riverwood is next. Alvor? The smith, isn't he? Reliable, solid fellow. Not prone to flights of fancy. And you're sure Helgen was destroyed by a dragon? This wasn't some Stormcloak raid gone wrong? I was there. I saw the dragon burn Helgen to the ground. By Ismir, Ireleth was right. What do you say now, Proventus? Trust only so the we table? Continue to trust in the strength of our walls <laughs> against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that Your dragon is lurking in the mountains. That is a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not. Oh. I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my Jarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done Whiterun a service, and I won't forget it. Here. Take this as a small token. Oh no, of I got <laughs> there is another I got steel thing armor you do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents. Ah, uh, and I used all my steel Let's making go find armor. Faringar, my court wizard. That's okay, I'll He's give it to looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. I'll give it to Sven. Hey, Sven. I've got your back. Here, let me trade some stuff with you. What do you want me to carry? Okay, he's carrying on a sweet roll. That's awesome. There we go. You, lead, you don't have a weapon, do you, Sven? Hmm. Faringar, I think I found someone who can help you with your dragon project go ahead and fill him in with all the details so the earl thinks you can be of use to me oh yes he must be referring to my research into the dragons yes i could use someone to fetch something for me well when i say fetch 
I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Just tell me what you need me to do. You are eager to begin your adventure. Excellent. The sooner begun, the sooner done, eh? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Okay. Um... Yeah, alright. Off this to Bleak Falls Barrow with you. Yoro's Anything we can use to fight man. this dragon. Neither am I. Dragons. Come to think of it. We need it quickly, before it's too late. Of course, Yarl Valgroof. You seem to have found me an able. Let's go, Sven. I'm sure you will prove most useful. <laughs> Damn those brave. They want to back the storm cloaks. They'll get what's coming to them. We'll probably stop at the. Uh... Smith in the morning, too, and um, make some more steel stuff. Looking for my husband, Nathan? All right, so um, we'll go ahead and get ourselves our room at the inn.